So on here, if you can see, the rabbit here has got a glass eye. Or I guess it's called a glass eye. And you can see the woodpecker also has the glass eye. That's what's unique about some of these older clocks with those eyes on there. And some people have restained these. You can stain right over the eyes. And then you can take something small, like a, for instance, a screwdriver. Then because it's glass, you can clean that eye off to get it to stand out a lot better. And I do believe, I can't see it right now because of the lighting, but I do believe the bird has got a red eye. So anyway, let's get taking this thing apart. As you can see, I'm going to have to take the hands off first. And I'll undo the bird so I can flip this over and take the bellows out, the, the whistle boxes. So I can pull the works out through the back. So let me get those hands off and get this off. All you have to do is just take that wire, straighten it out and slide it off and it'll come free. As you can see, this has got newer chain because of the color. And I need to take these off on each one of these in order to pull the chains through to make it free from the works. And also on the works, so this has got the nice hole here so you can adjust the gong. And sometimes on here, depends how far out it is, you'll have to loosen this up and move it just a little bit. Otherwise, from the back side, you can take your screwdriver and push it down or push it up just for that final adjustment. As you can see, it's got new uh, bellows in here. And it looks fairly clean, but we'll have to check it out. I see a spider web in here. So it's hard telling what might have got in here. So let me free up these chains, take the whistle boxes out so we can get that thing cleaned. You can pay attention to which side you took it off on, but on the on the bird it does have a wire on it, so it'll rock the bird and make him look like he's cuckooing, but he's actually not. It's the wire on the bellows that uh, makes him cuckoo. And there's the wire that the bird tail rides on. And every time this goes up, the bird tips down. And now, all they gotta do is take the four screws out. Now, I did want to mention in here, let me pull this out. 
Now for the pendulum, this here is where the pendulum hooks on and it has this other extra rod here. The pendulum wire goes clear up to this horseshoe deal here. So all, all the weight of that pendulum is just swinging. This here arm is what goes up inside which causes, there's a fuzz in there, cut, which uh, helps us or lets the clock know to tick and get the right sound to it as it's ticking. And also, of course, it's going to turn the time. On here, this here is what tells the clock what hour it is. And when it's triggered to the right time, this here little bar here, it'll drop down however far it needs to, which is going to be telling what time it is. Because you see this is starting to lift up. And the reason why you hear the clock kind of wind as it's getting ready to cuckoo is because this here little arm or I should say gear, whatever you want to call it, uh, spins around and then gets stopped because it's not time for it to cuckoo. So you see that fell down? That fell down, so it's probably, let's see, it's probably uh, at 12 o'clock, meaning it'll, it'll tick at 12. This here... drops down however far it has to so it can count the hours by how many times the bird cuckoos one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it's eleven o'clock probably there now go ahead and take the bird off simple as that And let's see what kind of numbers we can find on here. It does say GM. It does say 34 slash 1. Made in Germany. And then it's R-E-G-U-L-A. I have no idea what that says. It's not in English. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I couldn't tell you what year this is, but you can see it's got some tarnish on it and whatnot. Right here's the spring wire that pushes this down so it makes sure to hit. Check your wire here, make sure it's connected and whatnot. This is what brings the bird that slams the door or it doesn't slam the door uh, normally it should slam the door and not go in real slow if it goes in slow more than likely this clock needs cleaned or your clock needs cleaned but make sure that the wires are still hooked up because if they're not that door's not even going to shut So I normally do this outside because this is ammoni ammoniated, can't even say the word. And But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this in there real quick. Uh, I don't tear this whole clockworks apart for the simple reason is usually I'm trying to show people that want to clean their clock by themselves and not have to take it in. Uh, there is a such thing as using Dawn dishwashing soap and uh, spray some ammonia on here and brush it, but it's not going to come as clean as a clock cleaner that I have in here that I showed in my last video. So let me drop this in there real quick because, like I said, this will gag you. There we go. I let that soak in there a few hours. Every once in a while, I come in, pick the oh lordy, pick the works up and shake it around in there and let it soak some more. 
trying to clean all the old oils, varnishes, the uh, dust, everything else that might be on, on that works. So I have a clean work. So when I do oil it up, it should start right away. If you're using the dishwashing soap Dawn, I've found it doesn't clean as well. And it also is a little bit harder to get that clock started to get that oil worked in, uh, in order for this thing to start ticking properly or whatever. Now we'll take it inside, wash with hot water, then I'm going to use Dawn soap in the water, and then I'm going to rinse it again, and then use a hair dryer. Now I'm ready to go ahead and take this and dry it with the hair dryer. But as you can see, possibly, I think this works isn't the original works of that clock because it looks like the plates are too thin and it's got plastic a plastic gear here so not knowing for sure how old this clock is but let me get this thing dried up and then i'll go ahead and read the numbers that are on the two sides in case you guys know what they are but for me it doesn't mean anything to me Okay, that's the numbers that are on there. I can't read them. So we got this all washed up. This is spring still on here spring is still connected here so let's get it oiled up okay i'm going to install the chain again and here again i'm going to do this one first this turns this way so we're going to put the chain in here and slowly turn it around until it comes back out but as we're turning it we have to turn this around so the chain goes around and drops back down instead of catching in all those gears in there. You just drop it in a little ways. You drop it in too far, you'll start gathering it up on the gears inside there you take and turn it now as you can see well maybe here it is do the 50 50 split so it has even weight on it Then you do the same with this one. See which way it's going to turn. It's turning this way, so put the gear or the chain right here and do the same thing.
So we just dropped a little bit of it in there. So you don't want to go too far so it gets caught up in the gears here, just right there. So now we'll spin this around. And you see how I have it up. And here we have it. Do a 50 50 split again. So we have even weight on the chain. And I haven't taken this end off. I got to take this end off because this end is actually going to be changed with the hook because of the way you uh, bring it in there. So let me take this off and we'll feed it into the clock. And you can see I took the pendulum wire off. That's this here. Install it. You have to drop it down inside there. You hook it to the swing. And there it is. Now if you don't have one of these, if it's missing on your clock, you can order different sizes. They usually come in a pack of something like six and they give three different sizes. The way you measure it is you measure, you measure from here and you measure down and the outside of your clock is about right here. So you figure that this here is just sticking out of the box so you can hang your pendulum on there. You don't want too long and obviously you don't want too short because the length of your pendulum is what uh, regulates how fast that clock's going to work. So, I'm going to stick the hand shaft into the hole that's provided for hanging your clock. Just set it in there, line your chains up right. They're all in there. Before I forget on this one, which I have plenty of room in this clock, I'm going to go ahead and hook this bird up onto the shaft. And we'll have to do final adjustments later to make sure the bird's going into the hole. And also so the bird, the tail, hits the wire that's on the bellows to make him cuckoo. Okay, now all I have to do is put the four screws in and we can get that uh, cuckoo bird door open and get him hooked up. So here's the first bellows. Normally, not in all clocks, but normally your uh, top wire that makes the, these things cuckoo, that will go on your left side. So what you want to do is line up your nail, get it into place, and start turning your screw. It should line up right in the hole. And then start turning your screw. It should line right up in that hole same hole. You don't want to keep making new ones. OK, 
Okay, there it is. I did want to make a special note here. I don't think this is a very old clock. If you look up above the cuckoo bird, you see that the there's stain up there that's kind of been sprayed. I'm looking here. It's sprayed on. They didn't spray it back in them days. I don't know who did it, but there is a 40 there. And also it's got the side hole here. And they it's a round disc instead of a door. And it has a staple in it. That tells me, again, this isn't that old of a clock, but it does have a nice design to it anyway. It's not knocking the clock, it's just that it isn't one of your vintage clocks, I don't think. It does say West Germany down there. So let me get the bellows in here again. Then slam shut, but if you're holding your clock level, you want to shut. So we'll see how it is when I uh, get everything together and uh, get the weights on it. Okay, this is an eight day, like we've said before, it says West Germany, and I just noticed right here, it says 969. So this clock was built in 1969. I still kind of question the works, whether that's a new works in here or not. But uh, just the same, it does work. It's a fairly easy clock because it doesn't have the music on it. It's just a simple cuckoo bird one. So let me uh, get the hooks back on and the rings on the chain. And let's hang it up and see how well it does. So that takes care of another fixing of a clock. I'm glad you stopped by to take a watch at it. It is quite simple, just the cuckoo bird itself. And not that old of a clock, but it's maybe older than some of you. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope it helped you a little bit there. Thanks for watching and share, subscribe down below. We appreciate it. I love your comments.